guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Doja Cat because a lot of fans are speculating on social media that Doja Cat is being a little bit sneaky towards Nicki Minaj because she's releasing her music video the same week as Do You Have a Problem, which I believe is the 31st and Nicki's releasing her song on the 4th. Okay, now do I feel like Doja Cat is being super malicious? No, but I do feel like Doja Cat's team likes when Doja Cat's name is connected with Nicki Minaj, especially when she's dropping something to keep the barbs in tuned. And I'm gonna give you a few examples. Okay, so Ariana Grande, Megan Thee Stallion, and Doja Cat did a record, okay? The 34 plus 35 remix. And for what I was hearing, Nicki was supposed to be on that song. And if you guys remember, Doja Cat kept teasing DNA, DNA, all the time on live, okay? And then when she realized that Nicki wasn't going to be on the record, she went and said, oh, I was just kidding, guys. You know, I'm a big troll, blah, 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 blah. Okay? See, I really didn't care about the 34-35 remix because I'm be honest with you. Positions was not my favorite Ariana Grande album. Okay? But then after that, Planet Her came out. And she was teasing a Nicki Minaj collaboration. Now, it comes out that... The reason why she was teasing is because she sent Nikki three songs. So I'm sure Dolce Cat thought Nikki was going to hop on at least one record, okay? Now, you know, some fans felt like she should have kept sending Nikki a record, but I'm sure Dolce Cat did not want to be desperate, okay? It's probably embarrassing to keep sending somebody a record and they still keep rejecting it because they don't feel like it's the right song, okay? Then it was the woman video, okay? When she had that one scene that reminded everybody of Ganja Burn. And now it's Get Into It Ya yeah, music video. And now everybody's talking about, oh, is Nicki Minaj going to be in the music video? Oh my goodness, is Nicki Minaj going to make a cameo? So to me, it seems as though Dolja Cat's team wants... Nikki's name attached to Doja Cat because there's a lot of hybrid barbs that support Doja Cat and they know this. Now, is that being malicious? No, that's being strategic. That's being smart. Y'all worried about Cardi B using Nikki? I mean, Doja Cat's team does it all the time. Lizzo did it for rumors. Lizzo had Nicki Minaj's tag in rumors so that way... It could reach, you know, a different demographic because we all know that Nicki Minaj is a global superstar. But not only that, really, really young fans, like, you know, four or five-year-olds, they're not going to know the difference between Cardi B and Nicki Minaj. I've witnessed it, okay? So with that being said, um, it's called being strategic by using Nicki's name. That's what Tasha K did in court. It didn't work for her, though. Um, so, no, I don't believe that Doja Cat is being malicious. I believe that Doja Cat's team is being strategic. And you guys got to remember, yes, they have one manager in common. Saw, right? But Doja Cat has two other managers. Doja Cat has a big team. One of the management companies that she's under, Maverick, Nikki fired. Okay, so let's not forget that Nikki fired one of Doja Cat's old management team. So connect the dots, okay? Moving on to Lotto. Um, she finally got her top 40 record with Big Energy, um, thanks to the new streaming rules. Let's just be all the way 1,000. Um, with that being said... Is Lotto up next? Is she going to be taken over after Cardi B leaves the music game? Okay? Y'all was trying to scream, Bia, Bia, Bia. And if you guys remember, I said no. It would either be Lotto 
or Dream Doll because Lotto has that look. Unfortunately, Bia don't got that look. It's not just about surgery. It's about how you dress, how you present yourself, okay? And when it comes to Bia, I think that she needs to step it up in the fashion department. Lotto ain't all that great in the fashion department either. Some of her looks do be looking cheap. But at the end of the day, she got that big butt, okay, that she bought, allegedly. And I feel like, you know, that's what the industry wants, okay? If you look at all these female rappers, nine times out of ten, they got some sort of surgery. There's a reason for that, okay? Cardi, Nikki, Black China, Dream Doll. Asian doll, okay? Um, so there's a reason for that. People have accused, you know, Megan allegedly of touching her face, okay? So with that being said, surgery is normal, okay? Now, I don't think Bia needs surgery. I think she needs to revamp her fashion, okay? I think it, she needs a different type of look. But also, Bia is older than Lotto. So that's why I knew that they weren't going to choose Bia. Okay? Bia should have been lying about her age like the other celebrities do, allegedly. Allegedly, Bia is about 33, 34. Moving on to Tory Lanez. He tweeted, my time is near. Just watch. Now, some fans are speculating that he's talking about this case with Megan the Stallion. Okay, because it can't be musically. Tory Lanez has been in the game for a long time. Um, and, you know, he's already had the top 10 records and top five records. So I don't think he's talking about music. I think he's talking about his innocence being proven. And a lot of other people feel that way. So let me know what you guys think Tory Lanez is talking about. Now, if he is proven innocent... His music streams are going to go up. That's for sure. People that were boycotting Tory Lanez, they're going to start streaming him again. Um, a lot of black women are going to support him again. Women in the industry like Kalani and Jojo, you know, they're going to start working with Tory Lanez again. Okay? So this would be a good look for him. It would not be a good look for Megan Thee Stallion. I'm hoping that Megan did not lie about this situation, okay? Because lying like that, that's a big lie. That's not like, oh, Tory Lanez tripped me and he really didn't trip you. It's like he could have went to jail. He can still go to jail because he pled not guilty. So if they find him guilty, he can go to jail. So let me know how you guys feel about that in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.